Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. Today is March 22nd, 2016, and today is Tuesday morning. So looking at the economic calendar today, just a few things coming up. 11 a.m., there is a Euro-German IFO business climate number that's coming out. Then at 11.30 a.m., uh, a CPI number coming out of Great Britain. So that should obviously affect the pound. And then at 12 p.m., uh, that's 12 noon, uh, we have a German ZWI number, so that should affect the euro. So looking at the markets, it was a quiet day relatively for a Monday, and characteristically of a Monday, that's understood. Um, looking at the euro USD, we're trading at 12.54, uh, bouncing a little bit to yesterday uh, altogether. Uh, we're, you know, all the way back in this middle range, and we've been in this middle range for uh, a few days now, and you know, just, just loitering right here in the middle is a little bit hard to say. This is one, two, three. Uh, if it doesn't, you know, go higher here, I would presume it would go back to 1100, but 111, I mean. Uh, so that's something you can't got to keep an eye on. Looking at gold, gold has not sold off, okay? It's holding on, okay? And uh, that shows that it's got some relative strength in it, uh, so it may even take out on the upside. Uh, hard to say exactly what the exact pinpoint, what the exact date is, but for sure it's going to look like it's going to break up on the high side uh, and take it further up. Uh, like I said, it's very hard to say which date it's going to happen and how and when it's going to happen, but you know, you can see here it really wants to take off as it's not selling off. Looking at the Dow, Dow was quiet yesterday. I mean, we, are, we were green. But it was uh, relatively quiet yesterday looking at the futures this morning uh, or just slightly down. So nothing to really write home about yesterday about the Dow Jones. But, you know, companies are coming out with their uh, first quarter results. It's March uh, and major bellwether companies are coming out. So, you know, i got to keep an eye on that. Looking at oil also, uh, really nothing to really write home about. Uh, there's just so many lines here. Um, Let's look at a four-hour chart. So, you know, we're above $40 a barrel, which is a big deal, uh, and we're holding steady. So the question is, is you know, are we going to continue going up? Are we going to sell off here? Uh, we look like we're somewhat of a, you know, at the top of the range here on the upside, looking at four-hour chart, looking at a daily chart. You know, it's really hard to say exactly. Uh, how much further we're going to go up. I mean, the next resistance line is $43 a barrel. Um, we do have uh, some support at 40 So I, I would presume we're going to trade between 43 and $40 a barrel. Uh, maybe on the low side, $38, $38.60. Uh, but that's where we're going to be. If we break this $43, we could certainly go back up to 47 uh, and test this high again. But you could see how quickly it's gone back up. Um, and it's kind of having uh, the same um, mirror image that we were talking about yesterday with the Canadian dollar. I mean, this is the Canadian dollar, and we said, you know, as quickly as it went up, it went back down. And this is, this is a classical trade where things are taken out of proportion and then there's a correction. So um, it's just a different time frame. Okay, and this can happen at a regular NFP um, announcement and it could happen like you see here uh, like the case of where it's uh, going to rally and then sell off here like it, like it has so you know ultimately the week is progressing I would look for opportunities as things develop throughout the week um, you know initially Mondays and Tuesdays are a little bit more quiet so you know, let's see how things unfold this week and take it further this is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.